Thank you so much. And just with the time that we've got remaining, I want to take a brief moment to ask our panelists for their key takeaways or their final thoughts. And Neil, you led us off this afternoon. Perhaps you want to be the first to give us some of your key takeaways. Sure, happy to. Uh, I think there are two primary uh, key takeaways that I'd like to leave you all with to think about. Um, the first one is just with respect to the interest rate on the, um, the loan facilities. Um, as, as both Megan and I mentioned, the interest rate is a variable rate that is based on LIBOR, and uh, LIBOR is scheduled to be phased out at the end of 2021. Um, and the one thing the Federal Reserve has recommended is that eligible lenders and eligible borrowers include fallback language uh, in their loan documentation um, in the event that LIBOR does become unavailable during the term of an eligible loan or upsized tranche. So I would uh, be mindful of that. Uh, and then second, as I mentioned during the presentation, and as it stands right now, uh, the Main Street Lending Program, whether it's nonprofit or for-profit, is set to expire um, at the end of, of this year, December 31, uh, 2020. So I, I would encourage uh, you know, for-profit businesses and nonprofit corporations, if you are interested in the program, uh, I would reach out to your lenders uh, as soon as possible uh, to discuss you know, whether they are still originating loans under the program uh, and how quickly uh, it can get done, uh, given that we're, we're looking, at least right now anyway, um, at about a month to go uh, for these programs. Uh, it is possible that they may get renewed um, next year, um, but you know that remains to be seen. Thank you so much, Neil. Uh, Neil. Megan, we then turn things over to yourself. Perhaps you want to close us out with a few of your final thoughts as well. Yeah, I'll echo um, Neil's key takeaways too. Um, you know, we're, as of right now, the program is scheduled to expire at the end of the year, um, but there's still a ton of capacity left. Um, I think $600 billion were allocated um, for these uh, loan participations, and as of October 31st, a little less than um, $4 billion was actually um, purchased. So there's tons of capacity. I think a lot of borrowers and lenders have been a little um, intimidated by all of the program requirements. Um, but if you find yourself good counsel and find yourself a lender who's willing to um, make the loan, uh, this could really be a beneficial program, um, assuming we can get it done by the end of the year. <laughs> 